Hey guys, and welcome to the second part of this journey to uh, Oslo from Stavanger. And today we're going to be continuing with the journey towards uh, Oslo, <laughs> as it were. So yeah, I'm um, a little bit hyper today, I'm a bit jumpy, you know. Oh wow, my chair went down fast there. So yeah, um, we're going to um, go on with the second part. So we're in this, how heavy is this? This is a 55 ton haul truck chassis. It doesn't feel 55 tons for some reason. Strange. And we've got 9 hours to deliver it, that's fine. Oh, we've got income of two, 9 grand from, 2 grand from someone, I'm not sure what it was. But that's a good income, 2 grand's good. Well, I'd prefer about 20, but you know. Every income is accepted. But you know, I don't want to be paying them, um, like what is it, 200 pounds wages per day. I mean, that is just insane. Like, £200 wages every day. <laughs> if I had £200 wages a day, <laughs> imagine that. So how does it work then? Does it, like, take the wages as in... If they come in for an hour, they can get £200? Or does it take it and you have to do this contract, like, 40 hours a week and we'll give you £200 for every day? That's a grand a week! <laughs> I would do this if it's a grand. Jeez, that's insane. So yeah, lovely little Norwegian drive here. Tell you what, I would like to try though, Norwegian chocolate. That sounds brilliant. I would love to try some Norwegian chocolate. I've never actually tried Norwegian chocolate. I've tried Swedish chocolate called Marabo. <laughs> um, I got that in Iceland, the country, not the sh uh, not the shop. I get. I, I think. I think I'm a little bit higher quality than that. Lol. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But yeah, Marabo chocolate. If you ever go to a Scandinavian country, try Marabo chocolate. I guarantee you, at every airport there will be. A Maribel chocolate in the shop at some point. At any, anywhere, in any Swedish or Norwegian or Finnish or Denmark or Denmark? Danish or Icelandic or even Greenland. If you want to go to Greenland, you'll find Maribel chocolate. Brilliant. Fantastic chocolate. Expensive, but good. It's worth it. It's worth the five pounds just to try it. That's how much it is. Five pounds just to try it. It's about the size of the dairy milk bars. Which are. After you try Maribel, you'll probably never want to go back to dairy milk. But to be honest, you probably have to. Because it's like the only choice. In the UK. Unless you go to some posh shop. And you may find it. Or you can go on Amazon and order some Maribel chocolate. Look at my phone right now, actually. Let's have a look at some Maribo chocolate. Amazon. Uh oh. <laughs> Marabo. Hey. So that's it there. The Maribo chocolate. I don't know if that's going to focus correctly. Trying to get out of the light. So, yeah, that's Maribo chocolate there. That's a nut one, which is quite good. £10.49 for one bar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's like going on to... That's like ordering Diet Coke on Amazon. You pay like £30 for like 10, 10 cans. It's insane. Like why would you want to pay £30 for Diet Coke 10 cans? You get out of your local store for... 10 cans... £4? Something like that? Yes, going down to 28, jumping back up to 30, but I mean, there's no problems with the, the game. There's no problems with the FPS. There was when I tried to re record the Long Dark the other day, though. It was hitting, like, 2 FPS. It was like, what the heck? Because it's like, what is the point? But yeah, remember, guys, no, hashtag no wrong path. That was trending on Twitter on Tuesday and Wednesday for the full day. So yeah, just... Hashtag no wrong path. Apart from if you 
you know, go down the yellow bit road, but whatever. Okay, joke time. My favourite part of the Euro Truck series is joke time. So, oh my god, I about hit that guy. So, what do you call a horse with one leg? I have no idea. I will just let you recover from your laughter and then I'll continue talking. Okay, this truck is going to struggle up here. Well, this trailer, I mean. Oh my god, I'm on third gear just about getting up. I think the top of the hill is just around this corner, though. Yeah, and it goes to a bridge, and then it sort of goes up hill again. Yay! Fantastic scenery, though. It just makes you want to come to Norway, that's the thing. I've never actually had Norway cross my mind as a country I would like to visit, but I mean, Norway in the summer would look amazing. Norway in the winter would be okay, but it'd be a little bit cold. <laughs> you know that road that goes from Bergen to Oslo? That is like a fantastic Norwegian road. That is like the one of the best roads in Eurotruck. This is a good road as well, but that Norwegian road, that Bergen to Oslo one, is fantastic. So if you ever get Pro Mods, um, which I do recommend get, because I don't know why you not want Pro Mods, but yeah, go for the, go for the definitely go for Pro Mods, and then drive the the Bergen to Oslo road. That is a fantastic road. Yeah, it'll be totally worth it to go down that road. I should have went lower geared while I was moving. Yeah, I'm going to struggle up here. I'm going to seriously struggle up here. Yeah, I'm going back down the hill. Oh god, no, 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 no. Right, if I move, I'm going to go into that rear escort. Now, dude, there's a bit of a problem here, you know. Like, if I go here, the guy's going to... I'm going to go back. I need that guy to move. Keep going up the hill, pal. Come on. I'm, I'm stalling it. It's not working. I need you to continue up the hill, pal. Come on. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I'm having serious problems here with this truck. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I think it wants to go down the hill. <laughs> Down the cliff. Just keep moving. Then we'll... Oh, come on, stop doing that. Can we get up now? Seriously? Keep going. I'm basically spoon-feeding this guy forward. Okay, right, it's going to go wrong at some point. I can see it. Okay. This guy. I don't think he realises I can't get up the hill. Okay, my pedal shifter's just moved. My pedals. Oh. Okay, right. I'm going to have to go forward. I, I just need to spoon feed this guy all the way up the hill. He moves the littlest bit every time. Doesn't help at all. Oh, it doesn't help that I'm in second gear either. If I crash into that escort vehicle, that's going to go wrong. And I'm going to end the... Ju that's going to fail the whole thing. I don't want that. Oh, great. It's raining. <laughs> Exactly what I need. 
I'm seriously just spoon feeding this guy forward to light. It's just like the most weirdest thing. Come on, go forward. Come on, you can do it. Yay, we're actually moving. Oh no, we're not. Well, we are, but we're not. But we're kind of shaking a little bit. Why am I shaking? What is the truck actually doing? Oh, only 89 kilometers to go, thank God. <laughs> That's weird. What is it doing? I'm gonna have to load it in, in a minute. Cause that's doing some weird stuff. Okay, right. I can't have it shaking all the way. So I'm gonna have to go to auto saves and start it from here. Times eight minutes past. Okay, that should that should be fine. Oh, what a journey though. <laughs> so far, eight to nine kilometers to go. It's not over yet. That start of that journey last episode though was absolutely insane. Come on. Is it gonna work? I need some momentum though, that's the thing. I need seriously a lot of momentum. Three kilometers per hour. Come on. Four kilometers per hour. Okay. Just about changing gears here. Come on, pal. I've not got time for you to slow down. <laughs> See, these cars are not going to help a lot either. This escort vehicle as well, going really slow. Well, that's me. I, I control the escort vehicle by how fast I go behind. It's not going to make it up here. I can feel it. It's definitely, almost definitely not going to make it up this hill. Is it even on? 16 Ks? Yeah, I've just like lost it completely. I've lost all momentum. Right, why can't you just teleport and just let the game decide with the escort vehicle? I don't care about the escort vehicle. That's the problem with this. It's going to be a real problem. A real struggle. Look at it. It's just not going to work. Look at it. It's just like a huge hull. Right, I'm going to see what happens if I go here. You're driven away from escort. I thought so. We'll checkpoint. This is difficult. It's difficult to get up the hull with the escort vehicle being dumb and not moving at all. It's this trailer though, it's just so heavy. So you just need enough to go up the revs to change the gear. And that should be fine. See, the more you stay in the middle, the easier it'll be, but, like, when this car comes around, it's just not going to work. You start seeing it going all the way up. You start seeing it drop them. You change the gear. Like that. And then you stay in first gear all the way up. That's what I should do. See, it's a bit of a problem now, though, isn't it? You can see it. It's just slowing down. Six. Eventually it's gonna go to zero. Well, I'm not losing a lot, but I'm I'm losing five kilometers per hour. Come on, stay going, come on. This is a difficult trailer. Oh my god, if I make this up, this would be amazing. What a difficult trailer though. Absolutely insane. Especially with this truck. Because it's only got like a 400 engine in it. It's not a lot. 
Oh, we've gone back up to six. That's good. Okay, we can try and get some momentum for the next hull. Oh, wait, is there a next hull? Or was that the whole hull? I think that was the whole hull. Okay, just get ready to change gear in a minute. Don't change too soon, though, because then you'll just go rolling back. Right, I think I'm ready now. Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! We've got this. We've got this. Come on. Yes! <laughs> we made it up the hull without... Well, we teleported a little bit, but because we had to. But yeah, we successfully done it. Without giving up. It's what Rick Astley would have done. Well, he wouldn't have gave up. Right, I'm hoping that's the end of the hulls. I don't want to see any more hulls on this map. <laughs> well, this journey. But that was quite challenging. That was insane. Okay, I'm way high up the revs, so I need to change gear. No way you get past 20, that's way higher than you should be. You should just... You should be in the green zone on this rev gauge there on the left. I'm sure you know what the rev gauge is. The rev... The... The... Eh. Uh. Take that away now. <sighs> what the hell? Yeah, if anybody wants to watch We Happy Few, then it's going to be on Sunday at 6. Because tomorrow, well, today, it releases, and then it should be the gameplay. There may be problems with the gameplay footage, so I may not be able to upload it, but I hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'll be able to record it. I should be able to. Should be hopefully no problems. Oh my god, I felt like I was going to hit that sign there. I was, If I stayed where I was, I would have hit that sign. Almost certainly. But 99.9% sure I was going to hit that sign. The signs were there. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm here all year. Nice hull. Nice downhill. I like the downhills. I like downhills if you speed up though. Because I would normally go about 90 here. Come on, pal. Keep going. Are these escort vehicles the answer to sat-navs, I wonder? Because sat-navs take you in the wrong direction all the time. But saying that again, back in the olden days, before I was born, you had to basically use a map. Like, a, a paper map. Which would be okay, but, you know, sat-navs are a lot better. <laughs> oh, we're on a hull again. At least we've got more mon momentum. He says as he goes to zero miles per hour and he crashes the truck. And he reloads the game. <laughs> because I have went through blood, sweat and tears this episode to get this uh, trailer past where it has. So I'm going to reload that. <laughs> it auto saves every two minutes I notice. Which is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I went through blood, sweat and tears. I'm not going back with 8% damage. I'll go back with 5% at the most. Oh, come on. You just saved it, didn't you? You did. It already had more damage than I thought. Let's go to 2013 then. Put it down a little bit. It's too low. There we go. Perfect. Right. How much damage we got at this point? 7%. Oh dear. I'm going to get paid in peanuts. It's alright. <laughs> We've got road discovery. It's fine. I hope they're not too harsh. I mean, come on. How much is this journey worth? 18 grand. I'll probably get about 14. 13, 14 grand. Probably get like 25% of the money taken off me. Which is an insane amount of uh, money. 
It should be like every 1% damage you will take a hundred dollars off or a hundred euros off, whatever. Not like that amount. That's excessive. Come on. There has to be some, uh, there has to be some, uh, penalty, but not an insane amount of penalty. Because when you're starting out on the first, um, when you're starting out on the f first new game on this game, like, like amateurs or beginners of this game, it's like, you just, they won't know how to play the game properly, and they're going to end up crashing, and they're going to lose money like that. And they're going to be on minus 10 grand by before their first hour is over, so I mean, I don't see the point in having fines for the first at least 10 levels of the game. And then after the 10th level, you can start bringing more fines in, but then progressively do it. See, this is what I want SCS to do, is work on the gameplay side. I've seen this a lot. I've seen a lot of community people, a, a lot of uh, people in the community of SCS Software saying, uh, well, not the community of SCS, well, yeah, the community, saying, why don't we have more gameplay features in the game, or more ways to enjoy the gameplay? Because what pe keeps people hooked on this game, the graphics could get improved, okay, we're going to DX12 soon, hopefully, and oh, we're getting... We're getting our own, um, we're getting our own personal trailers, we're getting our own private companies and stuff. I mean, that's the first steps to the new gameplay. But instead of bringing out a DLC every year, start working on more gameplay. Like, okay then, okay. Did I seriously just fail at the same bet? I did, didn't I? I honestly did. <laughs> 2018, go, go, quickly. Yeah, I just failed at the same bet. What a noob. <laughs> so yeah, bring more gameplay features into it. Why not? Like, I want tyre pressure in the game. I want the ability to pump up my tyres and be able to have low tyre pressure and go to a fuel station and pump up my tyres. I want to be able to get out my truck and pump up my tyres. I want to be able to get out my truck, go in to get a Snickers bar and buy a Costa coffee. A flat white or whatever your favourite coffee is. And do that. That'd be fantastic. Just getting up, walking around, seeing how big you are against the truck. Going into the going into the shop and getting your Snickers bar and coming out and eating it. Well, maybe not that far, but you know. <laughs> Just something, the little things that matter in this game. Getting out your truck is going to be... It would be amazing. Like, if Train Sim World can do it, if, if Dovetail Games can do it, then SCS Software can do it. Because SCS software are, let's say, they're higher quality than SCS, uh, than Trains in World. Sorry, Dovetail, you know, but, you know. I think you need to work on your trains a little bit more and lower your price on your scenarios. <laughs> Obviously, if it's working for them and they've got good sales, then go for it, but if they've not, then reduce it to like £15 a week. Test it on £15. Don't just put it on £25. Like, come on, that's just insane. For a, a DLC, you get basically the same scenarios, like the same similar scenarios, and you basically get the a train, like one train, and then you need to buy another train, which is about ten pounds, and you're paying thirty-five pounds for that scenario. It's like, what the heck? Like, why would you want to pay that much for a scenario and then the train? It doesn't make sense. Okay, maybe just buy like th the game thirty pounds is fine. Like having the game. But then having loads of DLCs, it's not it's just too much for me. Like I can't pay twenty five pounds every three months a DLC comes out. It's just not gonna work. And anyway, there's something about Train Sim World that I just don't like compared to Train Sim eighteen. Like I would rate Train Sim World a four out of ten. Whereas I would rate Train Sim eighteen when it released, I would rate that an eight or a nine out of ten. Like that that is a completely different feature. Like I was rating like I rated like the worst games 2 or 3 out of 10. This is a 4 out of 10 for Trains in World. It's just insane. I don't know what it is. It's probably the scenarios. Like there's not as much variety in the scenarios as there was in Trains in 18. And I think they're being a little bit lazy on that front. It's just my personal opinion though. They're just being lazy. Adding the track. Adding some houses around it. Adding some greenery. All this stuff. They've not even sorted out the full on FPS issues yet. They're still... They're still sitting there on like, I'm sitting there on 30 FPS when I should be sitting there on 60. Doesn't make sense to me.
And a game where a train goes about 100 or 120 mile per hour, I don't want 30 FPS because it just looks horrible. I want 60. Wow, the frame rate is going to take a tank here. Is there a way that I can change this, the weather? There is, but it's going to work. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, game. That's the problem with the teleporting thing. It's like, it pauses your game. Oh, sorry, pal. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Just move it the way, pal. Come on, it's a freaking trans special transport. Right, let me change this weather. G underscore set underscore weather to zero. There we go. If only we could do that in real life, that would be fantastic. I would set it to thundery showers. That's what I would set it to, because I love thunder. Speaking of thunder, <laughs> what is the weather for tomorrow? Well, so it's meant to be raining tomorrow, but we're going to get a hint of thunder. Don't know what that means. A hint of thunder. What is that? A hint of salt? So it's like having chips, but a hint of salt? What is that? Okay, that's been over an hour for me, <laughs> and we're almost done. SpongeBob's happy. He's a little bit grumpy, you know. Whatever. That cat is just like looking into the sky, like, why am I, why am I in a truck? <laughs> why am I on the floor of a truck looking at a football cup and a Coca-Cola can? But yeah, next time we play Euro Truck, we should be able to um, do a normal trailer rather than a special transport. Because I think what I'm going to do is special transport, normal trailer, special transport, normal trailer. And then when Promos 2.3 comes out, we'll do normal trailers because obviously it's going to be a lot easier than special transport. And anyway, you can't even use special transport with Promos, I don't think. Unless Mandelsoft has done a couple of uh, things with... Uh, I can't remember if he has or not. Okay, it's not too bad, but it's like... Do I need to actually stop here? Or is this just a trailer bit? To skip part in the trailer? No way. It's just driving in. And I get a 30 XP bonus. Woohoo! How worth it is that? Come on, come on game, you can actually just let me have it, come on. Like, you know, I've been through blood, sweat and tears today to do this. Oh, it's because the trailer's not fully on. There we go, oh no, why did I do that? That is stupid. <laughs> okay, right. We'll decouple it, we're finally done. Oh, I can sit back and relax now. <laughs> Reasonable scumbag game. Six grand on my trailer damage. Oh my god. <sighs> Been through blood, sweat and tears and I've lost, what, a third of the money? Oh my god. Six grand for 8% damage. 422 XP. Oh my god. This game is harsh. That is insane. <sighs> Okay, just put me against the wall then. It's brilliant. Right. Have we got anywhere that we can rest? Uh, we need to head into Oslo, wouldn't we? Yeah, I haven't got time to head into Oslo. Actually, wait a minute. There's one down here. Let's go and have a, a run down to there. We'll get a rest. Oh, God. That was quick reactions. I swear I was about to hit that gate there. I like a pixel off the gate.
Okay, let's head down to the fuel station. We'll refuel as well, even though we've got like hardly any need for fuel, but we'll try and uh, we'll just refuel anyway, because why not? Oh my god, the freedom of a f truck! Oh my god! <laughs> this is fast, 100, 120 kilometers per hour. I can really feel the engine here. Because this is what I want to do, ain't it? Yeah! Yeah, boy! Hey! Yeah! <laughs> how fast you can go is what counts. Not what you do, it's how fast you can go. Definitely. Let's see if we can do this perfectly. Let's see if we can stop perfectly. Oh, no! Ah, I want to do something fun before the end of the episode. I want to do a long, long, long... I've got a plan. I've got a plan. You know what? Screw the rest. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Let's G underscore set time. Underscore set underscore time to... Let's go 7 o'clock in the morning. And we'll do some fun stuff. Let's do it. Because we can. Where is that cliff, by the way? There's a cliff somewhere. This truck is quite flexible, isn't it? Like, it goes quite fast. It can speed up so fast. Hello. Right, where is the cliff? I'm going to do some fun stuff here. Move out the way, party people. That's not the cliff, is it? Wee, that's quite fun. Hey, bye. Right, I need to find the cliff because you go up a hull and then you do something. I can't remember what it is. Oh, my frame rate's gone down a little bit on the OBS preview. Oh my god, pal. Yeah, it's going down sometimes. It's going 24, 25. Oh well. Ah, who cares? I'm reloading it anyway. Oh, that guy's getting chased. <laughs> yeah, because as I go further back, there's like a, a hill somewhere. I'm sure where the. Oh my god! That was close. Hey. Yeah, I think you got that hull somewhere. There's like a cliff edge. I'm not sure where it is though. Oh, here we go. I think this might be it. I think this might be the cliff edge. Oh my god, are you ready? Let's do this. YOLO! Oh my god! Okay, that went well. Are you serious? It's an invisible wall! You suck, game. Okay, where's the cliff? We need to find the cliff. Where was the big hill that I climbed? There was like a climb. Yeah, here. You could ju jump off a cliff somewhere. It's quite high up, though. Oh, I don't even know. It would have been fun as well to actually get up the climb, the hill. Ah oh well, fair enough. What I'm going to do then is go all the way up here, do my usual thing, and you know, just drop the truck. Where is it? Oh yeah, look at that. 
That's one red truck. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm just going to leave it there. So, yeah. It's a shame never got down that cliff. That invisible wall is a scumbag. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please like that button. And keep it there. All the videos on my channel. Please subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. See you later.